energietransitie is een van de onvermijdelijke opgaven van de toekomst. In 2050 moet Nederland grotendeels op hernieuwbare energiebronnen draaien... en moeten we minder broeikasgassen uitstoten. Welke rol nemen individuele initiatieven bij de ruimtelijke inpassing van schone energie? So we, we kind of joke about the Netherlands a bit in our group because we spend a lot of time here and we say it's the only place in the world that still believes in modernism. While a lot of the rest of the world was actually moving beyond that, uh, or, or I should say critiquing that and, and having these sort of postmodern movements and saying, well, actually grids are a failure, centralization is a failure, we should experiment with something else. I don't know if that's true, but there is still an obsession with grids here and this idea that if you put enough engineers and money towards something, you can solve it. Here is a series of meringues, uh, desserts, that uh, simulate pollution. So after the first time of whipping meringues and capturing the air and egg whites and sugar uh, and serving them to people to talk about the air pollution we eat every day. So we have Mexico City, uh, which out of all these is the most intense, and then we have New Delhi in India which is also pretty uh, strong. And then finally we have Rotterdam, which is not the most polluted city, but it's definitely not perfectly clean air. So people can come up and taste these, and we have recipes, and they can go online and find out what the pollution is like in their city. And using our equation, they can make uh, smog from that city that they can taste. Mm -hmm. 